I really find it retardedly odd how Sherry can take more fucking hits by the dogs than Claire can. That kind of pisses me off, actually. Well, maybe they just increased her life because... Ah, oh, fucking A, dog! Alright, these dogs are beginning to piss me off. Alright, 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 we get it, dogs. You don't like little girls, okay? Are, are, are you... Are, oh my god, just, just keep on fucking moving. Leave me fucking alone, dogs, please. Thank you. Jesus. These dogs are ne no one's friend. Claire, are you there? Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Chuck us that precinct key. Here's another. And there's the uh, grenade launcher rounds. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore! God forbid. Don't worry, I'll find another way. God forbid Claire can actually... I can myself. Wait, Sherry, come y back. You know what fucking... Sherry! Sherry! You know, if Claire actually gave a shit, she could probably try to climb up on... What the fuck? She can't! It's too small for another little- Fuck you, Sherry! Fuck you, Sherry! You could've just jumped up and grabbed Claire's arm or some shit. Way to show you have no brains, you fucking asshole. Alright, precinct key, get the grenade launcher rounds, which I'm actually gonna be using, instead of the flame rounds, because I kinda forgot that, uh... I don't know, it's, I, I don't hate Sherry as much as I seem like I do. I actually like Sherry, it's just that some- like... That's a plot hole right there. Like, why the fuck couldn't you just grab her arm? I mean, I don't know. It's just, I, I don't, I don't hate Sherry. I actually like Sherry. Just, it's annoying sometimes how retarded things can get. Anyway, let's get the grenade launcher out. We're gonna be, uh... The reason we're going to be getting this grenade launcher is because the reason we're going to be needing the grenade launcher is a reason you'll be seeing pretty soon. Well, it's not the dogs out here, I can tell you that. It's actually something worse. Okay, dogs, we get it. You're douchebags. We, we, we fucking get it, dogs. You're douchebags. Please leave me alone for your asshole. Somebody's going to get shot. I'm not even joking about that. Alright, 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 alright. You wanna play that fucking game? You wanna play that fucking game? We're playing that fucking game. Yeah, there's liquors out here. Alright. That one's dead. There's another one. Ah! Holy fucking shit, it jumped for me! Okay. Kinda forgot that they could leap. Yeah. Let's not do that again. Jesus Christ. Okay. Autopsy room. You use the precinct key. Okay, now this room is somewhat of a challenge if you don't know what you're doing, even though it's completely optional. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of dead corpses in here. Obviously, it's a fucking autopsy room. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Examine this. And take the red card key. The moment you turn, start fucking running. I'm not even joking. Start fucking running. Okay. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. Trust me. That, that's that's pretty tricky to do. Except it's kind of easy, because I've beaten this game like a thousand times. Alright, now the power to the card reader is on. So, now that we use the power, we can use this card key and uh, open the weapon storage. My kneecap is, like, really hurting now. Yay, it's the return of leg pain. From episode one. Alright, well anyway, there's some handgun bullets in here for you. So, I recommend actually doing this, obviously. Some handgun bullets. Um, some crossbow bolts, too. And then this is something that is a pretty tricky if you don't... Alright, in this storage here, there's a submachine gun and a side pack. Now, the side pack, it can carry... You can gain two more item spots and carry more shit, essentially. But with the submachine gun, you'll have more firepower. 
Now, this is a case where if you pick, you can either take one of these or both of these. And if you take one of these, you leave the, if you take one, you leave the other one for the next play, the next character. And, um, the next character in the next scenario. But if you take both of them, the next character in the next scenario has nothing. So, I'm going to I'm going to have Claire take the machine gun. And Leon will be taking the side pack. It, it, it's bet it, 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 it's better this way. Leon needs to carry more items. Leon will need to carry more items in a in his scenario than Claire needs to in this one. So, trust me, it's a smart idea. It's a smart idea. And Thanks to the fact that the submachine gun takes up two inventory space, I'm not going to be able to pick up the ink ribbons in this room. Here's the precinct king, another use here. I'm not going to be able to pick up the ink ribbons in this room, unfortunately. Um, there's some ink ribbons on this table, uh, but there are some acid rounds in here, so I'm going to want those instead. No, do not take the ink ribbons. Hold on, I got a better idea. It's in this locker. It's in this locker. Come on. Come on. I know there's something in here. Alright, fine. Fuck you, too. Uh, oh, here's the acid rounds. What am I doing? Uh, that's a magnum. It's starting to have been torn out. Yeah, that's one of the only corpses you can't get ammo off. Watchman's Diary. I finally had the chance to see Blue Skies for the first time in ages, but it did a little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the Chief from neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I don't understand. The chief seems to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited by in the first place, anyway? I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man. He really seems to enjoy chess. He even went as far to design a special key and lock and grave their chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. He made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? Thomas was a much better player than I imagined. He used to think of my, I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of, hum of humbling me. About the only thing I imagined that could match his skills is just his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. Wonder if he's okay. This seems somewhat familiar. I don't know, maybe Resident Evil One. I wasn't supposed to play another game of chess with... I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but he had to cancel it because he hadn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but he told I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like The Walking Dead. Oh, God. He insisted he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of the whole itchy, scratchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy, itchy... Or something. What? What? That, that fucking that fucking diary from uh that diary from Resident Evil One. You know. Okay. You know what? This is probably like one of the stupidest things I can do, but you know, just because I want to take these ink ribbons. Yep. I wasted a grenade launcher on. But it, yeah, that what, the diary in uh, Resident Evil One. You know, the one with the itchy scratchy thing. That was funny. And then, like, the moment you walk back, the guy pops out of the closet. That was funny. I like that about Resident Evil 1. And we're walking on broken glass. All right. Now, where do we need to go next? All right. We need to go back to that other place and get the, uh... We need to go back over to where that, do where that uh, hallway was... And get the, uh, go to that other room that needs the club key. We're not going to be doing that right now, unfortunately. Instead, we're going to be going back upstairs, and I'm going to be healing and saving. Well, maybe not saving, but i got to do some stuff, so. Well, I don't want to end the video on, like, a stupid note, so let's, I guess we're going to go get the fucking... I guess we'll go get the damn thing. I don't know. Alright. Remember that I thought there was a cutscene.